Hello and welcome to the second part in this series making Simple Flappy Robin for Android using Cocos 2D X version 3. So last video then we looked at the setup of the project and a little bit uh, of the directory structure inside there and in this video then we're going to actually get things up and running inside Eclipse. Now this is sort of a live video if you like but this is me actually doing this live I haven't done this before because I wanted to make sure uh, everything works okay. Um, so things could go a little bit wrong in this video, but generally hopefully it'll run out okay. If you're watching the video, then you can probably safely assume it has. A couple of things then that you need are not the Android NDK, I was having a look at that. Um, you need to go to the developer.android.com SDK and download the Android SDK ADT bundle. Here it's saying for Mac because I'm on a Mac, but you need the one either for Windows or Linux or whatever you're using. But this is essentially Eclipse with all of the Android development tools combined in one nice neat little box for you. That saves uh, quite a lot of heartache later on. Um, then put this wherever you want. I have it inside an Eclipse directory, which I've got tagged as a programming tag. ADT bundle is here. And I've also downloaded something we're going to go to now, which is the Android, end, Android, Android sorry, NDK native development kit here. And you'll be needing that as well. So once you've extracted this ADT bundle, then just go to the download the NDK, get the latest version of it. Um, for your system and unzip it also to somewhere and make sure you get the path saved as well because you'll need to put the path in as a variable later on inside Eclipse. Okay so that little hurdle we've overcome. Uh, the next hurdles we need to overcome is actually getting the project that we created in the last video inside Eclipse. So you remember that I created the project inside the Cocos 2D um, main uh, folder um, and made a projects folder and here's simple flappy robin the project inside here and what we're most interested in then is the android project here which is what we'll be importing into eclipse now luckily for us uh cocos 2d they always provide uh instructions on how to do this and they are always inside the readme file here so I just right click and open this readme file and have a look what it says And there's actually something missing inside this um, file here, but um, I'll come to that in a minute. So it says prerequisites, Android NDK, which we've downloaded and unzipped, the Android SDK, and Android AVD is just a virtual device or a simulator installed. I'm not going to do that. I always use a real device. I'm not going to do anything with a virtual device. I've got my phone plugged in at the moment and uh, I'm not going to actually, well, so I'm, not, I'm going to run the app on my phone, but I'm not actually going to show you the phone screen. You'll see the log data from the terminal because I can't really be bothered just for this video to get a separate camera and film my phone and then edit it into this video, etc. But you'll see the log information that the app is running anyway. So it says, first of all, um, import the project into Eclipse, so which means we need to have actually started Eclipse. So you need to go into the folder where you had your ADT bundle here, there's Eclipse in here and you need to double click on Eclipse here to actually start it up. When it starts up you'll be asked to define a workspace and assuming all's well you can close the introduction window that's open and you should end up with something empty like this. You can see here I've, I've created a brand new workspace inside uh, here like so, so that I can start from fresh um, as well as you are. So the first thing it does is it tells us to go into Eclipse preferences um, C++ build an environment and to add this NDK root which I'm going to copy now as a variable pointing to the root NDK directory. So to do that then that means to go into ADT here preferences uh, C++ environment add NDK root and then I copied and pasted earlier the root to the, the zip that we have, so the, the, the top directory, the zip we downloaded for the NDK, and just click OK. Now one more thing it does say in here for Windows users, I'm not a Windows user, um, I do use it when I have to, but I'm not, uh, you'll also need to add the in exactly the same way CGWin as the name with this value and ShellOps as the name with this value. And I'm assuming this means you also need CGWin installed as well. And if you're not sure how to do that, then there are a lot of other videos um, 
describing that on YouTube uh, in much better detail and better understanding than I can, so I recommend you have a look at one of those. Assuming that's all been done, the important part is here, adding and running from Eclipse. So we need to go File New Project Android Project from existing code, browse the project directory and add the project. So let's do that then. I'll just click Apply here for the variable OK and then go File New Project Android project from existing code. And now Bryce browse to the project directory. Uh, we have Cocos here. Where are we? Project. Dot. So I'm inside Simple Flappy Robin here, and then here's the project.android. So I'll click open here, and I'll just click finish with these unchecked. And I can see down at the bottom of the console that things are going on, and the project should start uh, compiling. Now I've cut the compiling out of the uh, because it took quite a while, but you see here that we have a red X in the source here. And the reason we have a red X in the source is because it can't find in the workspace the link to the Cocos 2DX library, despite the fact that it has all of the um, Cocos 2D classes and everything inside here. Now there's nothing about that inside the README from Cocos 2DX version 3. Um, and I'm not sure why, because there was inside the version 2 README. But anyway, what you need to do is you need to go File, New, um, Project, Android Project from Existing Code, Browse. And now inside the project directory that you have for Simple Flappy Robin in my, well in my case here, there's Cocos 2D directory here, then a Cocos. And inside here there's Platform, and then there's Android here. And then inside the Android there's Java, and if you have the Java folder selected, and then just import that, and it's called libcocos2dx, as you can already see, and click Finish, that brings in the library, and things should start uh, recompiling in the console, and eventually the red lines here should disappear. So now we're going to install the application and to do this we actually need to export what's called a signed application package. So to do this you need to right click uh, on the project, Android Tools, Export Signed Application Package. It'll ask you what project and that'll ask you for a key store and we're going to create a new key store for this for an example. And a key store is you sign each of your applications with a key an individual key in unique to the application and always then that same key because the application will then only run on a phone if the, the key is correct. Um, you can store any amount of keys in what's called a key store and you can have any number of key stores. So I'm just going to call this test store for now and just put a password in. I'm just going to browse to a location to store my store of keys. I'll leave this inside. Uh, it doesn't matter where the folder is here, but you want to give it uh, a name here. So the file, so I'll call it test store. And click next. And now we want to add the key. So I'm going to call it uh, flappy key. And you want the password for the key. Uh, validity I always give 100 years and you just need uh, uh, just this top name here first and last name I think and that's it next and now the destination APK file so I'm just going to browse there and I'm it doesn't matter you just what I'm going to do here actually is I'm going to put this in your ADT bundle you've got SDK and then platform tools I'm going to actually put it inside there and call it simple flappy robin dot APK the reason you'll see in a minute so click finish and that's the APK export up oh. <laughs> Eclipse quit reopen okay so we're back up and running let's try again let's just try and export again signed application package simple flappy robin uh, we're using this existing key store that I've created We're using the key store was tampered with or password was incorrect. We're using the flappy key. 
and let's try again okay it seems to have worked this time the reason I've gone inside this platform tools here is because inside platform tools directory is this ADB the Android debug bridge if I bring up the terminal I've already navigated to the platform tools directory and just um, type ADB in devices it says there aren't any devices attached so I'm just going to unplug my phone and plug my phone back in and I'll get the file browser which I'll close and let's just type ADB whoops ADB and devices and now you can see that there is a device actually attached so what I can do now then is I can install the APK and this is why I wanted it in this directory so that I don't need to type the full directory but just ADB install dash R I always do dash R because you'll need to remove uh, any application of the same one there there isn't at the moment but uh, it doesn't matter so simple, simple flappy robin dot APK should then in, begin installing the application and it says success it's installed and now what I'm going to do is just I'm just going to type ADB um, and logcat which displays all the logging information from the Android debug bridge which I'll just let scroll down to current moment and now I'm just going to browse on my phone because I don't want to to film this because it'll take too long and I can see the icon the Cocos 2D icon for Simple Flappy Robin and now if I just start you can see there's a load of information scrolling here and if I just scroll back up here you can see the Cocos 2DX info as the application is actually running on the phone and I have exactly the same screen on my phone as I had in the previous uh, video when we ran it in the Mac screen as well so I just press Control C and click that cut that and clear okay then so it's a bit of a slightly long-winded video um, about how you set the project up inside Eclipse um, you might probably want to add to your environment variables this path to ADB so you can run this from any command window and not always have to put the directory bin or be in the directory but it should be fairly clear now that we've stored a key inside our what's my test store here my key store I've used that key to sign this application I've used ADB then to install the application on the phone and the application was running if there are any problems with that setup then let me know in the comments section I'll try to help but otherwise from now on for the next few videos in the series I'm going to go back to Xcode to write the C code simply because it's quicker for me then to run the application in a window on the screen rather than always running it on my phone and trying to then film it separately so next video we get on to actually uh, creating the Flappy Robin application proper so thanks very much for watching comments questions criticisms welcome as always on YouTube